Hello, I'm Troy Rogers, and I'm a composer and musical robot maker. And uh, these are my instruments. They're robotic musical instruments. Together, I call it robot rickshaw because it's on a cart that I push around. Um, on the cart, I have several different types of instruments. I have drums. And I also have a guitar-like robot. Its name is Ami, which is automatic monochord instrument. It's going to be this one here. So that one so, sort of sounds like an electric guitar and, and operates like an electric guitar. The next one is the glowing blue tube that's standing in the middle. Its, its name is Kari, which is cylindrical aerophone robotic instrument. Uh, it's like a clarinet. It looks a little bit different, but it's made to be played by robots, not people. And it makes sort of sounds like that, and actually a whole range of sounds. Be behind me, or to my left, I have stemmetje. Stemmetje is a Dutch word. I made this in Belgium when I was there. It means the little voice, and it's a vocal-like robot. And so it can sing, sort of, uh, if I turn it on. And it has two different sounding elements. It has the, the low pitched one. And then it has a higher pitch side. And it's mimicking what we do with our voices. Um, you know, when we go, hey, I, oh, I can uh, isolate overtones the same way. I mean, I can try. So it's kind of doing overtone singing, uh, which is highlighting these whistling tones that, that you find in your voice. We don't normally hear them, but when we're speaking, uh, they get emphasized when we speak different words. Um, so that's the band. That's the band that's here, at least. Um, those are the instruments. The way that I, so these are automatic instruments. They're controlled uh, by software in a computer. Um, and I'm using a program called Max MSP. Um, I send out data. I send out streams of numbers to the instruments. And they have little uh, microcomputers. Um, some of you have probably heard of the Arduino microcontroller. And that's like a small, simple computer. It receives these numbers um, from the laptop and then turns on and off switches. And when the switches turn on, then we get a sound. So if I turn on switches for these instruments, I'm actually sending out different numbers uh, that correspond to different drums. And the same thing, there are numbers that correspond to different pitches on the guitar. So that happens to be note number 40, which corresponds to an E2, which is like the lowest note on a, on a guitar. Um, and that's what's basically happening. And once you start um, doing more um, interesting ways of generating numbers, we can get it to make music. And that's the basics of how robot rickshaw works. <laughs>